actually, uh, according to the uh, the strike board rules and regulations, is considered a light wing belt. Yes. And I think this belt, yeah. This belt is the first uh, female world champion uh, for Strike Force. And if you notice, the belt is a little different than the men's belt. And we're very proud to present it to uh, Ms. Cyborg. It was a fantastic fight. And uh, it was a fight that uh, CBS, Showtime, uh, promoted this fight and teed it up for us. And we're very proud to promote it. And uh, you know, we'd like to uh, open up for questions. But she was ready for everything, so it was okay. Do you feel like you made history tonight, uh, being the first women's title champion? Yeah, she feels she feels that that way, and uh, she want to thank uh, Showtime Channel, Strike Force, and Mr. Scott for the opportunity. Uh, now that you uh, have the title, congratulations, by the way. Uh, who do you see as um, as a person you would like to fight first as the champion? Not really. She is ready for uh, any challenge that Mr. Scott and Strike Force and uh, decided to put in front of her. Yeah, and we'll introduce uh, a lady up here uh, after we're finished with uh, World Champion. But we'll introduce somebody that uh, will be entering the Strike Force female 145 pound weight class. But uh, more questions from Misha? Misha? Yeah, um, I would like to see uh, how do you feel about um, Erin Tohill? Uh, I know she's got a, a very long history with the UFC. Do you think she's ready to Yeah, uh, Chris is aware of Erin, uh, and she knows that Erin is a very tough fighter. And uh, but uh, Chris is going to be the same in every fight. She's going for the knockout every fight, so it doesn't matter who the opponent is. She's going to fight in the same way. Can you discuss the finish, the, the closing sequence? Do you think that uh, the fight should have stopped? Ah, eu estava preparada para os cinco rounds, acho que o primeiro round eu fui para sentir como é que ia ser a luta e se a luta, estava esperando a oportunidade, eu vi que ela sentiu, eu continuei batendo mais forte e não esperava que estava acabando a luta, faltando um minuto, mas, é, mas acho que eu estava, se não desse o primeiro round eu acreditava que ia ser no segundo. Uh, she was ready for the five rounds, if necessary, but uh, uh, once that point, uh, she, she got in that point, she felt uh, it was the time to finish the fight. She started to hit strong, uh, harder, and uh, she didn't know that uh, it was like five seconds away from the end of the round, the round so she just kept uh, punching and punching. Did, did she think that Gina was hurt and that's why she attacked, or did she attack and just Gina was defending and covering? Yeah, she felt like Gina kind of closed her, her guard and uh, started to turn around a little bit and then she went for the, the, the strong punches. She said that she tried to submit Gina, but since Gina didn't tap, so she went for the knockout. How did it feel being the obvious uh, quote unquote heel, you know, the, the entire crowd was going for Gina Carano. Did that motivate you more? Yeah, I think it motivated me more. 
E independente da pressão que estava fora do ringue, eu acho que dentro do ringue ia só estar tá eu e ela. E não ia mudar nada. A galera está torcendo contra para mim ou não. Então me deu mais força. Yeah, it was something more for her fight, but uh, she was ready for this fight one. Well. And uh, she uh, saying that inside the octagon is only two fighters, but it was kind of uh, you know something else for to go for it. I have a question. Could um, you talk? Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, could you talk a little bit about your strategy for the fight? Obviously, besides pressing forward, um, did you did, did you guys formulate some holes in Gina's game, things that you were going to look out for, and then also. Uh, being taken down to the ground, what was your strategy from there, uh, from your back? Ah, eu vi as Gina, vi que ela tinha um bom Muay Thai, viu que ela usava mais cruzada direita, vi que ela tinha front, é, frontal, estudei o jogo dela. Mas eu estava eu, eu eu preparada para lutar em pé, eu acho que preparada para lutar no chão. Ah, eu, eu, eu treinei muito para as duas situações, mas eu estudei o, o jogo da China, mas não ia correr do Muay Thai, ia fazer Muay Thai com ela, a Fu. Ela disse que eles estão seguindo a China por um tempo, todos os fights e tudo isso. Mas ela estava preparada, ela não ia correr do... The Muay Thai game that she likes, and uh, once she went to the ground, she was comfortable, and uh, especially on uh, uh, heel hooks and uh, knee knee bars. Along the same lines as uh, the fans uh, being on Gina's side, um, there was a point when you walked into the ring and you kind of heard the crowd and you smiled and kind of said some. What was what was going through your mind? What were your thoughts when you heard all that? And kind of going in as as obviously the the. Uh, Fan, or not the fan favorite Ah, eu vi que todo mundo estava torcendo para ela, mas eu não estava sozinha ali, Deus estava comigo e toda a galera do meu time ele estava atrás comigo, acho que estava tava bem acompanhado. Yeah, she felt like everybody was on uh, Gina's side, but uh, she was not. She wasn't alone. She had God on her side and all her team, and uh, she was very comfortable. Comfortable with that. Awesome. Wow. Hey. Ali, você poder fazer alguma coisa, tem que estar muito aprimorado e 